So hi guys and welcome back to another on skate photography vlog. I'm uh, my first video well I'm doing my first video in probably like seven or eight months so apologies uh, about that but today I've uh, come out and thought I'd do a vlog and I've come to this local woodland near my uh, near my house because the conditions are just absolutely perfect for this type of photography. As you can see, and as you've already seen in the first image, there is some absolutely amazing fog this morning and hopefully we can find some really nice compositions. I'm thinking of doing a video um, as well, maybe after this one is, is, is out, um, just showing some of the stuff I have been doing whilst I've not been vlogging. Um, so I've got some woodland stuff, some uh, landscape stuff. I've been to Canada, so I've got some images to show there. Um, but yeah, let's get on with today's shoot. I'm filming with my X-T2. I've got a, another X-T2 body now. Um, so hopefully the quality should be a little bit better. I think the next thing I need to get is a mic. But uh, yeah, we're with the X-T2. I've got another tripod, so hopefully the quality of video it's going to be a lot better. So let's get on with today's shoot. the composition yet but woodland photography is always a challenge it's always a chance to try and find that character that's sort of lost in this forest it's so difficult to try and find something in such confusion and mess and I think if you can if you can master woodland photography I think general landscape photography comes easier because finding a composition in such chaos and simplifying something that's so messy is such a skill and something that if you can do well can really really enhance all of your landscape photography so that's what I've been trying to do recently really trying to get to grips with some woodlands woodland scenes and really try and understand how to set up a composition in a woodland and obviously with conditions like this it's made easier because it gives the atmosphere and the depth in the woodland. So I'm going to carry on, try and find something that, uh, that I'm happy with and I'll get back to you then. But surely there's got to be a composition in here because as you can see it's absolutely stunning. Thick fog everywhere. So let's carry on. So this first composition that I found um, I really like. We've got these two sort of fallen trees in the foreground and then these all these old crooked uh, trees in this fog and these two trees just really sort of add to the image they really show that you know how old the forest is that the trees are falling down and it just gives a lovely foreground interest so I'm hoping that this one's going to turn out all right because through the viewfinder it's looking really nice so I'm going to take this shot at f8, ISO 200 and 1 8th of a second shutter speed. I'm happy with this image, um, the first woodland image of the day. Um, so hopefully the fog stays and we can get a few more images um, as the day goes on. So I'm going to grab this one now. I'm at 24mm on my 10 to 24 f4 lens. Pop a two second timer on just to make sure there's no shake. I'm happy with that.
So this composition, I've gone for this little, very thin, crooked character, and it's just sort of, just peeking through the fog. It's just making this lovely arc shape uh, in the fog in the distance. And I've got these very sort of tall, big trees, just very uniform in a, in a line of three. And it leads into this little crooked tree. And I think it just really stands out amongst amongst the uh, amongst the rest here. Um, my composition is the three trees on the left with a nice sort of, I think it's some sort of fern that's maybe fallen on the floor, some sort of branch. I'm not too sure what tree it is. Um, but it just balances out the scene, having that fallen branch on the right as well. And it really just stood out to me as I was walking down the hill just here. So I'm going to grab the shot. Settings wise, I'm on f1.8 just because my sensor is smaller. I need to go shallower with a depth of field just so I can get that extra depth of field. Um, I'm on 125th of a second. ISO 200, two second timer on my 85mm lens, which is a prime. And that's all it is to it. There's no polarizer, no nothing. We don't want, don't want to cut any glare out. So I've composed my shot. And I've got the image. I'm happy with that one. So the fog has started to lift a little bit now in the lower parts of the woodland. It's not quite as dense and as thick as to when I first got here. So what I'm going to do is head back out and I think a little further down there's a little bit more woodland but higher up. I'm not 100% because I've not been here before. Um, but yeah, the fog is just starting to lift a little bit, so I'm hoping if I can get to some trees that are a little bit higher up, the fog will still be there and still be as thick. But it is starting to recede up a little bit now. So hopefully there is a little bit more fog to be had today because these conditions are just absolutely stunning and are absolutely perfect for woodland photography. So I'm gonna carry on for a little bit more and hopefully get some more nice woodland shots.